All right, we're gonna have the meeting of Tanamura and Akiyama, <clears throat> if he's here. Boy, hello, Hi. anyone here? Uh. There he is! <laughs> Can I help you? Anta. Are you Mr. Akiyama? Last I checked. <clears throat> Haven't I seen you? Ah, oh, you're that guy! From the beginning of the game, yep. So you're the one who lent Yasuko the money. Yasuko? Yasuko? You mean Lily? How do you know her real name? Because <laughs> we never knew that Lily was a fake name for a Japanese girl. So that's her story. She didn't tell you any of this? No, but I never asked. I figured it was something serious, but dang. Borrowing money to save your brother on death row. I just wish she'd have come to me earlier. Might have saved her from having to kill Shibata's men. Now that Katsuragi's broken his promise, there's no need for this money. I'm returning it to you, I'm returning it to you in her place. No, I'm good. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? I'm saying I won't accept the money. Okay, explanation please. Whatever the situation is now, I lent that money to her, so it's up to her to return it. That's gotta leave you strapped, won't it? Detective, I have so much money, I hardly know what to do with it. And I'm not interested in making more. As for the hundred million, I don't care if I'll ever see it again. I wonder how Akiyama made all this money. Seriously. Hmm? You see, I only lend money to people I feel are worth investing in. I'm only investing... Uh, I'm only interested, excuse me, in seeing how my loan affects the person's life. That kind of makes sense in a totally insane sort of way. Point is, I'm not taking that money. Not till she returns it in person. Where is she anyways? Okinawa. Her brother was transferred to a prison there a few days ago. She said she wanted to be near him on his execution date. I knew she was a keeper. What? Did I not mention? I fell for her. What, like in love? Exactly, so I'd really like to see her again. Ha <laughs> ha! Unfortunately, the money's the only connection between us now. If I take it back from you, the connection is cut and I'll probably never see her again. Some say love lasts only as long as the money. Heh, <laughs> ain't that the truth. Pretty sad, huh? Almost as sad as this awry business. Awry? One second. Hello? Oh, uh, Kido. How you been? Found a riot? What? Mishima? You mean the Ueno goon without a bullet in his head? Oh, uh, yeah, alright. Okay, leave it to me. I'll get back to you. Bye. Who was that? I heard something about finding a rye. That was Kido, a rye's right hand man. What? I might as well tell you now, I'm helping Kido find his boss, Arai. He's a good kid. Why? Because I can't afford to lose Arai. Shibata's boys are going nuts trying to find him. We're trying to appease the Ueno Saiwa by handing him over. We have to find him somehow before they get their hands on him. Of course, if what you just said is true, I've been getting on the wrong, betting on the wrong horse. What's your connection with Arai anyway? Well, I've been backing him out of personal interest. I'm not a mob front or anything. What a kick in the nuts. Who'd imagine Arai would be in bed with Katsuragi? I didn't have him pegged as the type to make a move like that. So, what exactly was that call about? Huh? Oh, that. Kido was looking for a ride when he stumbled across the other Ueno goon. You know, the one that disappeared after the shooting? There was another one? Guy named Mishima. He was blood brothers with Ihara, the one Arai ventilated downstairs. So, what about him? He's asking for police protection. In exchange, he says he'll cough up all that he knows. He wants the police. Oh. He's asking for a detective he can trust. One that can protect him from the Ueno Saiwa clan. You should go talk to him. What, me? Well, you're a perfect fit. I mean, from what you said, the force sounds like a pit of vipers. Plus, you can't count on Sug Sugiuchi or your superiors. What better person than you? What should I... Who knows? It might get you a step closer to the truth you're looking for. Huh? The recent shooting between the Ueno Saiwa clan and Kanemura Enterprises, right? I got this hunch it's all connected to the case your old man was working back in 85. There's just too much overlap between the players to be a coincidence. Mm 
If Arai's been taking orders from Katsuragi behind the scenes, maybe a horror shooting was planned from the get-go. Ah. Right. Part of Katsuragi's conspiracy with Shibata to take over the Toho clan. But then Lily comes into the picture. Katsuragi turned on Shibata. Then used her to erase everyone who knew the truth about the incident in 85. Huh. What I don't get is, why go to all the trouble now? If he wanted them dead, he could have killed them years ago. That is true. So why now? Something made him panic. Yeah, panic. He needed everyone who knew the truth before uh, the truth gone before the shooting went down. But why? Maybe he was under orders. By someone pulling Katsuragi's strings. Any ideas on who? Someone who can't afford to let the truth come out. The police who staged the cover up. The pieces do fit. Looks like you got a rat on the force. So, you want to meet with Mishima? I think it's worth it. Yeah, I'll go. But I'm setting a trap. What do you have in mind? If this Mishima is really a surviving member of that shooting, he probably knows something. Well, yeah, what's your point? Mishima's a liability, not only for Katsuragi, but also for the traitor on the police force. Ah, uh, I get ya. You'll call in your little sit-down with Mishima and hope it smokes the traitor out. It's a risky gamble. You sure you want to do this? Ah. Positive. I'm going to solve this riddle or die trying. Huh, interesting. So, I like this plot. This plot has definitely, definitely picked up. Interesting how everything's intertwining and turning out pretty well. I like this. This is fun. Okay. Mishima's supposedly hiding over at the docks on Tokyo Bay. Your best bet is to take a taxi there. Got it. Now to report my next move to the station. Hi, this is Tanamura for Community Safety. Can I get someone in Criminal Affairs, please? Yeah, anyone there will do. Thanks. Hi, this is Tanamura for Community Safety. I wanted to report in before I meet with a Yakuza member named Mishima, a material witness of that shooting in Kamarocho the other day. I'm meeting him over at the docks on Tokyo Bay. Yes, that's right. No, he's already there. Okay, thank you. Bye. Okay, now that that's taken care of, I'll be on my way. Just be careful and good luck. Alright, we're going to the docks again. Again. Mishima supposedly are supposed to be hiding in a warehouse on the docks. I better grab a cab there. All right, we got to grab a cab to the docks. Again. Huh. It's like the third time this guy's been there. Poor Tanamura can't stay away from the docks. So here's a cab. I'm thinking I should save my game first. Nah, screw it. To the docks. Here we go. Who's there? Who the hell is this? 
Detective Tanamura, Kamurocho Police. I heard you were seeking police protection. This is the guy from the beginning of the game, isn't it? The guy who survived. Oh, you're the cop. Nice hair, by the way. My god, this guy's hideous. Look how ugly he is. Damn. His head's fucking deformed. You're Mishima from the Ueno Saiba clan? You're a detective? Yes, I'm here to place you under protection. You think you can really do that? Only if you keep your part of the bargain. You tell me the truth behind the Ueno Saiba's recent actions and I'll keep my end of the bargain. Sure, I'll talk. It's like this. Me and Ahara were ordered to go make a scene at Club Elnard. Why? Uh, I don't know. Somebody said. Katsurangi just told us to stir up some shit. So we followed his orders. But then that prick showed up. Akiyama from Sky Finance? Yeah, Akiyama. He fucked everything up. So they were paid to make a scene and start something. Ah. I don't remember nothing after he busted that little bottle over my head. Next thing I knew, I was in the Champion District. Ahara must have carried me over here. Woke up surrounded by garbage bins. No sign of Ahara, Ahara anywhere. Why the Champion District? Me and Ahara go drinking there a lot. Plus, it's close to Elnar. No other special reason. I bet Ahara was freaking out. Must have been someone chasing him if he ditched me like that. I started looking for Ahara so I could find out what happened and what we were supposed to do. I had no idea what a shitstorm it had become. Anyway, I'd been walking around Kamurocho for a while when I found it. His body, anyway. I totally lost my shit. I couldn't even process what was going on, you know? All I knew was that I was scared shitless, so I ran. I ended up at Ueno Cyber Clan headquarters, but I barely remember how I even got there. I found an empty room here to chill, uh, there to chill the fuck out. I thought I'd catch my breath to try to digest all the shit that just went down. That's when I heard Katsuragi. He was in the next room talking to someone on the phone. What did he say? Can't say I heard everything. He was in another room, and he'd already been talking a while. But it sounded like he was talking to the cops. The word police came up a lot. But it's it. But it's what he said next that freaked me out. He said, Ihara's dead, just as planned. We'll get rid of Mishima as soon as we find him. I got the fuck out, thankfully, before anyone saw me. I've been hiding out ever since. My own clan's gonna kill me if we don't do something. I don't care if you gotta put me in prison, you gotta protect me. Okay. You can stay at the hideout for now, at least until I can arrange for official. Oh, uh, well, that was quick. <laughs> that was a quick one. And we knew it, Sugiuchi. Who's there? It's Sugiuchi. We suspected this. I suspected this all along, since we just found out that he was part of the original investigation. It's all him. He's a dirty, dirty cat. The Dirty Cat. You're one surprise after the next, kid. Getting this close to the truth, and on your own? You don't seem too surprised, though. Let's just say you were on my short list. Huh. So you baited criminal affairs to see if you could lure out the traitor? Something like that. And you're not surprised to see it's me. No, though I can't say I wanted it this way. How'd you know it was me? A gambler's dumb luck? A detective's hunch? Sugiuchi, a good hunch comes from keen observation. Didn't you learn that back in the day? Huh, I must have forgot. So what tipped you off? I've known you weren't an ordinary cop for a while now. It's your fancy shoes. They always look brand new. Not exactly practical for a homicide cop working murder scenes. Normal cop buys cheap shoes and wears them into the ground. Huh. The watch, too. It's way too expensive for a detective's salary. It's so high-end, your average person's never even heard of the brand. And if they did, their heads would explode at the price tag. Huh, <laughs> you got it all. Instincts and a sharp eye. Please, Sugiuchi, you really think it was all me? Mm -hmm. Huh? You haven't exactly been subtle. The rescue stage when I met with Katsuragi, sending Chief Hus Hisai and head, head to Homeland. Feels like you've been wanting me to catch on. What are you talking about? You've been working with Katsuragi for the last 25 years. But now you've grown tired of your little partnership, haven't you? I paid a visit to Archive Room 13, and I saw a report that hit 25 years ago. What? You were assigned to the case along with my father. If Katsuragi were the killer, only you or my father could have covered that up. You were ordered by someone above you to alter the facts behind the incident. 
to cover up the fact that Katsuragi was the real perp. Tell me I'm wrong. Shut the hell up. Don't know you don't know a goddamn thing about that case or about me. Uh, did he just fire the gun for absolutely no reason and miss? That's enough. Ha ha! The whole thing was a setup. A trap for Sugiuchi. If only they'd been sooner, the informant wouldn't have been killed. That's enough, Sugiuchi. You knew you've been working with the Ueno Saiwa clan's Katsuragi. Let's not make this any more difficult than it already is. Shit! <laughs> Detective Sugiuchi, it's over. You guys really don't get it, do you? Sugiuchi. So what if you know who I'm working with? You still can't touch me! What? You an idiot? See you around. Don't move! What, you're gonna shoot me, Sudo? Pull that trigger and you're finished. What are you doing, Chief? Give the order. Take a look at this justice the police are so hell-bent on protecting. Maybe you'll learn something, kid. Later. <laughs> what? Haha. <laughs> I can shoot. Tanimura! I never was good at playing by the handbook. I got my own brand of justice. <laughs> Tanamura. I knew you'd make a good cop someday. And that's damn near 30 years experience on the force talking. I'll consider that an honor. Okay, kid. Let's see just how far your idea of justice takes you. I gotta chase him. Stop! Why the hell didn't they arrest him? I'm really confused. I guess maybe there's such deep ties with the Yakuza, they know shit'll go wrong. I don't know. This is weird. What the hell? He's in a motorboat, a speedboat. Holy shit. A speedboat chase. So long, Tanimura. A speedboat chase. Haha! <laughs> Very Grand Theft Auto esque now. Now we need some epic music. I need a hero! I'm holding up for a hero to the end of the night! He's gotta be strong and he's gotta be fast and he's gotta be wrong! Blah 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 blah! Haha! <laughs> a 1980s. So oh my god, look at this! We need a 1980s song! We need a hero! Accelerated attack, fire your gun. Shot him. Got him. Damn, we're dodging buoys and shit. Oh, was he going? Oh no. Oh, God. Ah. 
Okay, I'm almost at him. <laughs> Boosh, got him again, nice. Almost done. Oh! Up your butt. Right up your ass. Up your crooked detective ass. Damn, almost had him. Got him. Very nice. We need a hero. Hold on, I'll follow a hero to the end of the night. <laughs> that would have been awesome if they did like this really epic music. We're gonna have a showdown of some sort. Oh! Shot him in the shoulder. <laughs> you don't give up, do you? I'll tell you. Your old man. That was me. You killed him. He killed his father. I'm saying I'm the one who killed your old man. Break the arm. Break it. Snap it. Aww. You're through running. You think a pair of goddamn handcuffs is all it's gonna take? Uh-oh. Whoa. We gotta fight him. But we're handcuffed. How's this gonna happen? It's gonna be an all-quick time fight, I think. Now look, all quick time events. What the shit is going on? Oh, I might want to dodge this. Oh, okay. Power punch! Boosh! What the hell? Super kick time. Oh. Get up. God damn it. God damn it, there's items over here. I'm gonna go get it. Oh wait, quick time. Triangle! Phew! This item. Anything else? No, just the one. X, X! Grab my hair! the hell? I can't get out of those. I'll 
I couldn't parry. Come on, man. Okay, I tried to grab, completely whiffed. Tried to parry. Dude, parry doesn't really work in this game. It sucks. Tried to, you saw he lit up the parry. Didn't work again. Circle. Phew. Tried to parry. Doesn't work. doesn't work. X! I'm pressing it! I pressed the shit out of it. It still doesn't do anything. He still hits you. Press parry, didn't do anything. The parry doesn't work. He like dodges for half a second, doesn't really do anything. X. I press parry, it doesn't work. It's weird because it's supposed to be his mechanic to win and it doesn't work in this fight. Can't do anything. I can't. I'm done. Come on! What the fuck? Why does he get to grab you when you can't grab him at all? Yes, I got a finisher. Finally. Yes. Oh. Yes. God damn. Oh. That was close, dude. That was hard. Because the parry doesn't fucking work. His primary move you're supposed to use the parry doesn't work in the boss fight. Damn. Say it. Tell me who killed my father. Who dumped my father's body in the Arakawa River 25 years ago. Huh? Yeah. Say it! Already told ya. It was me! Da na na! What's wrong? Can't shoot? Why does it have to be you? Why does a cop have to kill another cop? You said it yourself. I'm not an ordinary cop. I'm not a cop at all. I'm Yakuza kid. Always was. He's their insider in the department, huh? Huh. 
How is that possible? Katsuragi and I. We're what our, call, our kind call blood brothers. Friends bound by oath. What the hell? I was an Ueno Saiwa soldier from the start. A Yakuza who joined the academy and got a badge to spy on the cops. That's me. You. A Yakuza. That's right. So after my father found out the real killer behind the Yoshiharu Ueno hit was Katsuragi, you murdered him in cold blood. It wasn't that simple. It was nowhere near that fucking simple. Are we gonna have a flashback now? I guess so. We're gonna find out what really happened. Or not. What's going on? Uh. Uh. Okay. 